Good day, my beloved learners. Now, we will talk about plants and animal cells. In this video, you will learn the following things. First, you will identify the different parts of animal and plant cell. Second, compare plant and animal cells. And lastly, you will learn the importance of knowing the different parts of a plant and animal cell. But before that, let's talk about what is a cell. Cell is the smallest unit of a living organism. All living things, including plants and animals, are made up of cells. And cells can only be observed under a microscope. Let's talk first about its history. Robert Hooke is the first person to observe cells using his improvised microscope with three lenses and a staged light. He uses battle cord as the specimen to observe the first actual image of cells. Robert Hooke first described the cell as tiny boxes or like honeycomb. The idea of Robert Hooke about cells is the foundation of what knowledge we have about cells today. Now, let's begin discussing the different parts present in both plants and animal cells. We have the nucleus. It can be seen at the center of the animal cell and at pushes to the side in the plant cell. It houses the oxyribonucleic acid or the DNA where our hereditary information has been stored. It is also called the brain of the cell. Next is nucleus. It is a small dark circle within the nucleus. Its main function is for the formation of protein and synthesis of RNA or ribonucleic acid. Next common part present in animal and plant cells is the cytoplasm. It is a jelly-like fluid. It is also a space where all the organelles are located. Cytoplasm comprises 70% parts of the cell. The next part is the cell membrane, also called as the plasma membrane. It supports and protects the cell. Also, it controls the materials coming in and out of the cell. And lastly, it serves as a barrier to protect the cell from viruses and bacteria. Next is the mitochondria, also known as the powerhouse of the cell. It is where adenosine triphosphate or ATP the energy of the cell is produced so that the cell will perform the different functions of the cell in our body. The next common part is the endoplasmic reticulum or the ER which has two types, the smooth ER and the rough ER. Let's start with the rough ER. It has ribosomes on its surface. Its main function is to manufacture and transport proteins. The other one is the smooth ER or the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It has no ribosomes on its surface. Its main function is for the synthesis of lipids, metabolism of carbohydrates, and lastly, for enzyme production in the liver. The next common part present in animal and plant cells is the ribosomes. It is located in the rough endoplasmic reticulum or rough ER. Amino acids hook in ribosomes to make protein. Next, we have the Golgi apparatus. It is a membrane structure found near the nucleus. Its function is to modify pack and export proteins and lipids out of the cell. Next, we have the vacuole. 
The vacuole, it is an organelle for storing water, salts, proteins, and carbohydrates. It also has a part in cell digestion and waste removal. Vacuole in animal cells is different from the plant cells. In animal cells, the vacuole is small while in plant cell is large. The vacuole also in animal cells is filled with fluid and water. While in plant cell, vacuole perform functions of secretion, excretion, and storage. Now, let's talk about the parts present only in plant cells. The first part is the chloroplast, usually seen in the leaves of a plant that gives a green pigment to it. Also, it is where photosynthesis occurs. Photosynthesis is the process by which the plant makes its own food by using the raw materials like sunlight, water, carbon dioxide, and light that produces glucose, the food of the plant, and a byproduct of oxygen which is very important to us. The next part present in plant cell is the cell wall. It provides rigidity, strength, and protection against mechanical stress and infection of plant cells. The next part of the cell is present only in animal cells, which is the lysosome. It is an organelle that contains chemicals that digest waste and function as a waste disposal system of the cell. Meaning, when unlikely materials like viruses and bacteria enters the cell, lysosomes explode to avoid some infections to other cells. That's why it is also called as suicidal bug. Aside from the two parts, there are a lot of differences between animal and plant cells. Come with me and let's discover it. The following are the things that animal cells unique from plant cells. First is that animal cells has lysosome, which is present only in animal cell. Next is Animal cells has many small vacuoles. Third, the nucleus in animal cell is at the center of the cell. And lastly, animal cells are round in shape. Next are the characteristics of plant cells different from animal cells. First, plant cells has chloroplasts, which needed for them to make their own food in the process of photosynthesis. Next, plant cells only have one large vacuum. Their nucleus being pushed in the side of the cell due to the large water-filled vacuum in the center of it. Also, plant cell has cell wall compared to an animal cell that only has cell membrane. Plant cells would have cell membrane and cell wall which provide tensile strength and protection against mechanical and osmotic stress. And lastly, plant cell is rectangular in shape. In summary, plant cells and animal cells has the following common differences. In animal cell, only in animal cell, they have lysosomes, many small vacuoles, the nucleus is in the center of the cell, and they are 
round in shape. While in plant cells, they have chloroplasts. They have one large vacuole. The nucleus is usually pushed to the side due to the presence of the large central vacuole. They have cell wall. Unlike with the animal cell that only has cell membrane, the plant cell has cell wall and cell membrane. And plant cell is rectangular in shape. There are also things that are common in animal and plant cell. They are the following. Both of them has mitochondria, ribosomes, ER or the endoplasmic reticulum, both smooth and rough ER. Both of them have vacuoles, nucleus, cytoplasm, and Golgi apparatus. Now, since you have already learned everything about animal and plant cells, let's have a short checkpoint to accomplish to check that you really understand our video for today. So now you will just determine or, or identify the name of that part given the following function. First, this part that stores biochemicals that helps the plant for its growth. It's called as the... Okay, I will be giving you three seconds. Three, two, one. It is called as the vacuum. Okay, very good. The next part is for the protection of the plant cell. The outer part. Okay, three seconds. Okay, very good. It is called as the cell wall. For the number three, it controls what comes in and out of the cell. Yes, very good. It is called as the cell membrane. For number four, it makes sugars and starches through the process of photosynthesis. This one also give oxygen, which is very important to us. So, this part is called as the chloroplast. And for number five, it provides energy in the cell, or also called as the powerhouse of the cell. It is called as the mitochondria. Check. Okay, very good. And for the last one in plant cell, it is considered as the brain of the cell. It is the nucleus. Okay, very good. So now let's go to the animal cell. The first part has a function in manufacture and transporting of protein. It is called as the endoplasmic reticulum. Next part, its function is to modify pack, export proteins and lipids out of the cell. It is the Golgi apparatus. Next, it is considered as the powerhouse of the cell. It is the mitochondria. Okay, very good. And next one, it is considered as the suicidal bugs inside the animal cell. It is the lysosome. Next, it plays a role in organizing microtubules that serve as the cell's skeletal system. It is the centriole. Next, it is the brain of the cell. It is the nucleus. And lastly, it stores biochemicals like water, salts, proteins, and has a role in cell digestion and waste removal, it is the vacuum. It seems that you really understand our topic for today. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this channel. If you have 
something to discuss please leave a comment in the comment section so that we can discuss it in our next video thank you for coming god bless everyone